Let's talk about another role that artists play in society, and that is that artists give tangible form. Now, of course, tangible means something that you can actually see, hold on to. You know, it's concrete. It's there for you. Uh, so give tangible form to the unknown. There are things throughout history that it's very difficult for us to visualize. Uh, I, could, I could tell you something, but it just doesn't, you know, make any sense to you. You need somebody to visually explain that. And artists have done that throughout history. This is Adam and Eve that you're looking at right now. And Eve's taking the apple from the serpent, you know, and, and that. And this is that artist's rendition of that. So that as you, you heard that story, actually seeing it helps put it better into place. Let me do a little exercise with you. I want you to visualize this in your head. There is a man and he's wearing, let's say, skin-tight black pantsuit-ish thing, right? Full, full, full down to the ankles, full down to his wrists, right? This whole, you know, suit. Sort of like maybe uh, something you'd wear underwater, okay? Then he's got a big belt around his waist, sort of like a fanny pack, but it's got like lots of extra little pockets and stuff on it. And he has a cape on. And the cape, though, has a built-in kind of, you know, helmet. And so when he puts it on, it even goes over his face and his, I mean, his eyes, right? Just his eyes, not the rest of his face. And it has ears on it. And um, that's what he looks like. Okay? Now, you could kind of put that together in your head. Maybe you've gotten an, a drift of where I'm going. But if you have, you're already seeing the artist's rendition of it, right? You are already seeing Batman. Uh, and somebody came up with that idea and basically was told what I just told you. And then the artist said, okay, I'm, I'm kind of getting it. Let me come up with some ideas and I can show you where I'm going and see if you like it. This is, this happens to you guys all the time. You use art for this purpose every single day, right? Every, you know, anything that's illustrated, a book, a magazine, a graphic novel, anything like that, of course, artists do, comics, artists do, and it puts this all into perspective. So you can, you know, get an idea of where, the story is trying to take you and you would never get there by, by yourself. Um, it goes with TV shows, movies, movies create entire and TV shows create entire universes and worlds for us that we could never ever envision. Uh, if you just read a book, it would be difficult for you, right? It's, 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 it goes past just words you need to see it. Um, Batman could take on lots of, depending on the artist, right? And depending on the time and the style and things that are popular. Let me show you what Batman looked like in the 1960s. There you go, right? Um, hard, hard to even take this seriously, right? That it, it's changed so much. He looks so much better now uh, that, it, it, you know, it's, it's very difficult to even take it seriously. Throughout history, Artists have done this exact same thing. You are looking at the creation of Eve by Michelangelo. It was painted in 1510, and it's a uh, part of the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Uh, this is a really difficult thing to imagine, too, because you think, okay, the story, they just say, you know, Eve was born of, you know, the ribs from Adam's side, and I don't know, how, how does that happen? Right. I, I don't get what that looks like. So artists said, well, let me show you what my idea of it is. And every time I think of the creation of Eve, I think of Michelangelo's version of the story. And so you have God who stands over on the right side and he's he's depicted as this super wise, very powerful man. And Adam right? He's, he's unconscious through this process. So don't worry, this isn't hurting him. He, he doesn't even know what's happening at the time. 
And God is so powerful, see, that he just takes his hand, you know, and it started lower, but he just raises his hand. And as he raises his hand, Eve is coming up with him. And notice her hands are in a state of, of adoration and praise and prayer to God. Okay. So this is, so Michelangelo goes, this is what this looked like. Today, if you want to see it, you will go to the Sistine Chapel and I will put a link uh, in this assignment to the Sistine Chapel, and then you can, uh, you know, uh, do a virtual tour of the Sistine. But he painted all of this, and this is a huge ceiling, by the way, but it has 11 main uh, stories that go down, and they're all from the creation series, Book of Genesis. So, you know, this is God separating the light and the dark, and, you know, God creating the sun, the moon, and the planets, and separating the light and the sky, and here's the creation of Adam, and here's the creation of Eve, right in here. So that's where you would go to see it. There are other uh, examples of this story. This is an early one by Andrea Pisano. See, that's about 150, 175 years before Michelangelo's. Um, and it's done in a different kind of material. But you can see Eve coming out of the um, Adam's side. So Michelangelo just didn't completely come up with that idea on his own. That thought of Adam kind of being in that reclined, you know, sleep state was um, earlier than that. We can trace it back much earlier. This was before Michelangelo's as well, and this is a bronze cast, and here you can see, um, this is the creation story here, but here's the creation of Adam, right? Here's the creation of Eve through here. This is the temptation and the apple, and then this is the expulsion when they're getting kicked out of the Garden of Eden. So this is what we call a continuous narrative. Lots going on in here. Um, even later, artists say, well, you know, I've got an idea. So we can look back to a more um, romantic period where there's a lot more drama involved in it. Uh, God has a, an oddly looking weird Roman sculptural look to it. This is much later. This is a, a William Blake work of the creation of Adam done in 1822. So Michelangelo's, though, is probably the famous but they're throughout history. So what I would like for you to do is think of a story or a book or a, you know, a character or something that you could not have envisioned without some artist's visual help. I would like you to jot this down on a piece of paper. You know, uh, it could be a movie. It could be, you know, a, a book that you read as a kid. You know, I, I would have a hard time envisioning Sesame Street with actually, without having actually seen it. And I bet you're the same way. So it could have been something little from a, a book as a child that the, that the pictures made a big impression on you. Um, it could be some sort of graphic novels that you read. It could be a movie. It could be a TV show. At something that was just, man, I could not have thought of what that looked like without help. And I want you to jot down what that is. And then I want you to write a, you know, a, a brief summary as to why uh, that was the case. What part of that story, what character in that story, you know, what scene, what world uh, would have been hard and why. So just give me a few sentences. Make sure it's legible so I can read it. Take a picture of it and upload it to this assignment. Okay, let me know if you have questions.